Yeah, my name is Eric Caden. I'm with Hollywood Book and Poster Company. Uh, we've been in business since 1977. Uh, we've been coming to the San Diego Comic Convention since the first uh, was at the El Cortez Hotel. Um, I can't really tell you how many years it's been. I guess 37, 38. I think we just missed a couple of the early years. Uh, this is the one show I look forward to every year. Um, it's my biggest show by far. Um, I see a lot of friends I don't see any other time, and I make a lot of contacts. But anyways, going back to the old days, um, I used to, uh, I still do actually have a large uh, film collection. I have over 500 uh, 60 millimeter films. It's all science fiction, horror, fantasy, and also have TV shows, Adam's Family Monsters, Laurel and Hardy, Three Stooges. So uh, this is like the very beginning when the San Diego Comic Convention was putting together their film program. Um, I proposed a deal in which I will supply them with any films they want out of my collection in exchange for tables. So I used to literally run the film program as far as supplying films for them to screen in exchange for dealers tables. This went on for over 15 years, so it was a very good uh, arrangement for both of us. And um, John Fields, I believe, was in charge of the film program at the time. And um, actually people would, um, they would come up to us uh, each night and tell us how much they liked the film selection and they'd give us requests. And uh, it was a very, like I said, it worked out very well. Uh, towards the end, unfortunately, they decided to go more into just strictly DVD or more current films, uh, you know, films that uh, I don't know are not usually uh, seen, and a lot more television type uh, features, television related features. So we didn't really have that to offer. So basically, after about 50 years, unfortunately, we had to uh, uh, cut the deal. Um, some of the memories I have of the early San Diego Comic Convention. Uh, I mean, this might be off, but it seems to me I remember the El Cortez Hotel, George Clayton Johnson. I remember one night he was leading a group of people that were following him into the swimming pool, and they all proceeded to remove all their clothes. And I think the hotel staff was looking on in astonishment, and people all went into the pool to go skinny dipping with George Clayton Johnson. And I think it was the greatest thing I ever saw. Then again, I might not have seen it because I was in a condition at the time that maybe I imagined the whole thing. But some people seem to remember that too. So I'll take their word for it that it did happen. So maybe other people could also verify that. But I, I'll never forget that. It was uh, something that stays with you for the rest of your life, I guess. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, as a 40 years of the con, what would you wish for the con going into the future? Uh, well, I guess the main problem I think they have now is I think they're outgrowing the convention center, or at least it appears that way. Unfortunately, where are they going to go from here? There is nowhere to go because there's nothing bigger than the convention center in San Diego. Um, I hear rumors that they might move to Las Vegas when the contract is, is over, but I sincerely doubt that's really going to happen because, one, they'd have to change the name from San Diego to Las Vegas, and I don't think that's, big, that's not bigger than the San Diego Comic Convention, So, I mean, the convention center. So hopefully they'll stay here. Um, I don't know how they can improve it. I mean, the programming is incredible. Uh, they've, they, the thing that's real nice is they've incorporated multimedia as well as comic-related uh, guests, which is great. So it basically, uh, you put together literally every type of entertainment uh, uh, you know, that's out there all in one big package. So you basically attract fans of every genre and, and in every category to come down here and they can find what they want and they can see the programs they want to see. And, um, you know, it's, this is basically the perfect convention. So I don't think they can really improve it. I really don't.